A bill moves forward that could change a law meant to increase government transparency and accountability. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Chelsea Helms. The state House and Senate both passed identical bills that would alter the state's Freedom of Information Act. KNWA's Demira Hale has been on top of the coverage all day. So what is the latest, Demira? The Senate advanced its version of the FOIA bill, Senate Bill 10, at noon today, shortly before an identical bill in the House advanced through committee. This version of the bill is scaled back from what was originally proposed at the start of the session, but it will still limit the public's access to information about the governor's security. House committee, House committee members said today that they agreed the governor's safety is important, but there are still concerns on how the bill benefits Arkansans and not only the current governor, but the next. Next, four people spoke during public comments today. Scott Gray was one of them. He felt the changes made to this new version of the bill show the public was heard. But Democratic Representative Nicole Clowney said the bill is still too broad. We appreciate that. We had serious reservations about the initial bills, but we're pleased to support this compromise. We thank you all for listening to your constituents' concerns, and we do appreciate the process. I think it protects things that are ultimately um, not directly impacted, not directly related to security. So while I want this governor and every future governor protected, I think this bill goes a little bit too far in terms of taking rights away from our Kansans, so I can't quite get there. The House committee gave a bill gave the bill a due pass recommendation. The full House will now have a chance to vote on the bill. It will happen at 8.30 tomorrow morning on both FOIA and tax cuts. In studio, Demir Hill, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas.